Previously on the WT Farm Girl channel, in our last video, we were scrambling trying to get as much hay off the field as possible. There was a storm approaching that wasn't predicted, and now we only had just hours to get our hay bailed and off. The rains came. Fortunately, it wasn't a torrential downpour, leaving us to pick up the pieces the next day. The first order of business, of course, was cleaning out the barn which was not ready for hay. So I got to work on that. <sighs> All right, well, let's get to it. We got a lot to get done. We had managed to kind of squeeze the trailer into the barn just enough to be able to close the doors and keep the hay safe. Now it was time to pull it off and stack it in the corner. Now I know that you're thinking that grapple system is great. It really saved us from having to stack all of that hay. Nope, it saved Eric from having to stack all that hay because I still had to go stack all of it into the corner. Because our barn wasn't set up for a grapple system, it was just set up as a general barn. We had no way to pull straight in and stack unless we had several stacks already pre-stacked. So it was up to me to stack everything into the corner as best as I could while Eric brought it in the grapple. Now we were finally ready for our next load of hay. But first, we had to go through and we had to tet it. Tetting goes through and throws the hay up into the air, which basically shakes off all the water. That allows it to dry a little bit faster. Hopefully, we can get it off the field quickly. This week, however, we did not have as much luck as last week, and the dew was thick and heavy. That meant I had to let it sit out in the sun day after day to continue to dry it down until finally it was fully dry and we could go through and bale it. All right, and it's back to looking somewhat green. It's not gonna last very long though. Once this green hits the sun, uh, it's all going to turn kind of a dull neon brownish color, if that makes any sense, but it's, it's definitely wet, so it's going to take at least a good day or two to dry. <sighs> Alright, time for the next two fields. After a day of drying out in the sun, I was out to hit the fields the very next day to collect all that tetted hay back into rows. And the next day I had to flip it over, so I only used one side of my hay rake. It was also a good chance to go through and combine some of these thin rows together. And later that afternoon, it was finally dry enough to be able to bale. I had Aaron out there for the first half, helping me with some of the uh, bales that had gotten left on the field. But I was thankful that we could finally get it all cleaned up today.
crazy here flying. All right, so I've got two of the three fields done. There's still a lot of scraps out there, but it's gonna be tough to pull them off just yet. As of right now, the bale counter's at 440 bales. That is pretty darn good. I mean, you could say 420. Let's say that I had to rebale 20 bales, which I didn't, but you know, overestimate. So even 420, we still have one more field to go. That's pretty good. Considering that um, the fields are so very thin. To save Eric some time, and because he had already taken time off from work to help with the last hay crop, I decided to hit the fields with a grapple. Happy Gilmore out on the field screaming at the grapple. Send him home. Time to go home there, ball. Oh. Son of a ball, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Unfortunately, no amount of screaming made the thing work any better. This is one piece of equipment I will never love. I absolutely loathe this gravel accumulator. One of these days, I'm gonna find something that will work and I'm gonna be so happy about it and you will be the first to find out. But this thing, I hate it with a passion. So, you can see there's a lot left on the field. And that is because uh, the winds came through like a violent force yesterday and just annihilated all my rows. So once the bales get cleaned off the field, I'm going to have to go back through and tidy it up. So we are up to 514 bales. So we could probably round it off at an even 500. I think it's fair to say 500 is probably a fair number um, for all the fields. And that honestly is pretty good considering we didn't do that field down there and we didn't do that field up there i think the combination of that field and that field would probably be maybe another four to five acres which i mean could be another 100 bales the field looks terrible and is very thin and full of weeds our bale count was decent i mean look how thin this is right here there's there's nothing look here's a little orchard grass guy they got smushed by the tractor tire this summer is going to be to source some new grass seed. I waited way too long last year. Well, I waited a month late last year. I think I tried to order it in October and they had actually called me uh, the beginning of September to see if I wanted to buy some new grass seed they had just gotten in. I'm like, oh, I really don't know what I need just yet. I got to get my hay off the field first. And, uh, you know, by the time I called back a month later, it was sold out entirely. That was a shock because the year before I had actually bought it in the spring. So I figured I had plenty of time. 
will not make that mistake again. At least I should have a pretty good second cut well started. And luckily Eric popped in and was able to clean up the mess and get it all stacked. So this is what we have so far. We have three stacks of 80 right here. This is first cutting that didn't get rained on. And then we have, um, that's actually 2020 hay right there that I still had some left over. And there's a little bit of top up there still that has to go in the trash pile because it just didn't turn out very good. And that is all of our scrappy field or half the scrappy field. With that smile in Eric's face. He knows. He's like, woohoo, look how fast I can do this. What he's wearing, he's got his headphones on again. What? Nothing. <laughs> 